Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 16th of 2022 well, it is titled Tycho and Clavius at dawn. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of our moon. And we're seeing it at around first quarter phase, meaning that just a portion of it is illuminated. And what we see is what is called the terminator. The terminator is the dividing point between day and night on an, an object. And here it signifies the dark portion of the moon where it is not being illuminated by sunlight on the left side, and the light portion of the moon, which is being directly illuminated by sunlight on the right. Now we can see as we look very close to the terminator, we get the most detail and most relief because it shows the more detailed shadows. As we get further and further away from the terminator, we see how the shadows are much smaller and we see far less detail. So if you want to look for detail on the moon, you want to look very close to the terminator. Now two of the objects we see here are two cra a couple of craters and that includes the uh, Tycho crater. Tycho is the very sharp crater uh, bottom, down towards the bottom and to the left of the center and very shadowed in this case with one wall sticking up very brightly there and in fact a central peak you see a peak of light in the center with the central peak mountain of the crater that is sticking up into the sunlight whereas most of the crater floor is still in darkness here because of the very low altitude of the sun from as observed from that location. Now this is a relatively young crater and we can tell that by how sharply defined it is very nice and smooth with no other craters affecting its walls yet. And this can be compared to the larger crater Clavius almost straight up above this and in fact straight south and remember that in uh, an astronomical image it gets flipped upside down so south is to the top here but you can see the crater Clavius there uh, where the uh, rim sticks out well into the dark portion and some portions of that are still illuminated by sunlight even though the vast majority of the surrounding area is in darkness you can also see some craters within it telling us it's a much older crater and that's because it is has craters with in craters and when we see craters inside something the more craters we see the older the object is so when we look at any area on the surface of the moon or any other object the density of craters tells us something about the age the higher the density of craters then the older the objects surface is the longer it's been since that surface has been reworked whether by weathering effects something like that would occur here on earth or could it be something like geological effects or volcanic effects on other objects in the solar system? So when we see very smooth surfaces, we know that they are relatively new, uh, at least astronomically speaking. And when we see heavily cratered surfaces, then we know that they are very old surfaces. And that's what we see here today, two different craters, one very young towards the bottom, and that is the Tycho crater, and the Clavius crater up above that a much older crater, its edges worn down and craters inside of the crater as as well. So that was our picture of the day for July 16th of 2022. It was titled Tycho and Clavius at dawn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Europa and Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.